Hey guys, it's Angela. Um, I wasn't originally planning on recording this video today, but I decided, you know what, it's just as good a day as any. I'm feeling a lot better from the head cold that I had. Um, pardon my appearance. I spent all morning at um, my daughter's ballet photo shoot, dance class photo shoots, ballet and jazz. So, um, And then I volunteered the rest of the afternoon to help out with the other girls and their costumes and hair and makeup and stuff like that. So um, I got home and I decided, you know what, I need to do this video. I've been putting it off mainly because I'm scared because of what's in this bag. So I ordered this off of a website, off of a link that popped up on Facebook. And I have looked for other review videos on this. I've only seen one other one, but I think this is definitely something that a lot of people are curious about. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this review. I am going to be showing you guys things that I have not shown in public in a very long time. And I know that sounds bizarre, but you'll know what I mean when you see it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Um, it, I arrived over two weeks ago and I have not opened it. It's still completely sealed. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you guys what's inside. So I'm holding my phone vlog style. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. This is the Hazel and Harper hard wax beans and like I said it was a pop-up on Facebook and I decided to try it out I have only attempted to wax my own legs twice before in my lifetime both times I failed miserably I got like two strips worth of wax um, off of my legs and it was too much to bear so I stopped and I went and shaved so I have gotten my legs professionally waxed since then, and I was able to tolerate that. Something about someone else doing it, um, I'm able to tolerate, but when it's for myself. But these looked so interesting. They kind of look like little chocolate chips. Um, I can't tell if they are purple or not in the lighting that I'm in. kind of looks brown, but um, these are just... I forget who the... Um, creator or inventor of this type of wax is um, but basically um, it's a hard wax and it's supposed to completely remove your hair and be a lot healthier for your skin and it's supposed to be um, uh, a lot less painful so I'm gonna go put some of these to melt and uh, we are going to wax my legs today apparently at least one of them if I can get through i'm just going to try to do the from the knees down um on my legs so uh, i'm a little nervous but let's see what happens okay guys so i have melted this down this is what it looks like definitely looks like chocolate so it was definitely brown i just did a double boiler method with some um simmering water because i don't have a slow cooker i don't have a wax melter so it is definitely too hot right now to apply to the skin so i'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit and then we will go in and do a little bit of testing um i think i am going to test it out on maybe my fingers i have some hair on my fingers just little light areas on my hand please pardon my fingernails they're a complete mess i don't know what is up with them to keep like layering and breaking and my cuticles are a mess Ugh, so disgusting that's why i have not filmed that nail video i told you guys about yet if you've seen that on other videos but yeah this is pretty it was pretty easy to melt this way it only took about five minutes hopefully it didn't get too hot and it will work well so i do have some popsicle sticks crafting sticks to use to apply this so we'll see what happens I'm gonna test this in just a few minutes to see if it's too hot or if it's just right okay so I put some on my pinky finger to test out the temperature and it is just right it is already hard so let's go ahead and 
rip this off. Okay, not too bad at all, actually. It did remove quite a lot of hair. Did not hurt. So let's try again. Well, this stuff, like, thickens up fast. Okay, so I think we're just going to go ahead and move right into my legs because it's already starting to cool down, which is kind of annoying, actually. I have an idea. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I put the um, pot of hot water underneath it again, put the pan back inside, and it is just to keep it softer. But the temperature is good, so we're going to go ahead and try this out. I am terrified. Just so you know, I am terrified. One, because I'm about to show you guys my hairy legs. And two, because uh, as much as I love their end result of waxing, I don't like waxing. Okay, so let's see how I'm going to do this. I think I have a setup here that will work, so let's see. So first I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my legs. I have, just as a disclaimer, I have very hairy legs. I am Hispanic and I have dark hair. So it's like a triple whammy, so to speak. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So this is what my legs currently look like. This is about two weeks worth of growth. So they're in pretty bad shape. Let's go ahead and start in an area right here. I'm just going to pick some up on the spatula. Give it a twirl. Okay, so here is the wax right there. I'm just going to test the temperature. Okay, it does not feel overly hot, so let's go ahead and apply this in the direction of the hair growth. Oh my god, guys, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. You have no idea. I am terrified. Terrified. If you hear cartoons in the background, Kylie's in the room, so hopefully I don't scream bloody murder and scare the bejesus out of her. So. There's a lot of like little wax threads being formed, but that is not anything new to any of us. I'm just trying to get a nice, even coat so that I get one smooth piece. Okay. So there it is. It is ready in just a moment. I'm supposed to tap it to help it stick. Yeah, you got your shoe, baby. All right, guys, moment of truth. This is ready to be pulled. So please pray for me that I don't like cry like a baby. Oh my God, ow. I can already feel owies. Okay, so here we go. We just rip it off like a band-aid, right? Okay, oh my God. Ow, 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 ow. All right, three, two, one. I can't do it, guys. Oh my God, okay, let me try again. Three, two, three, two, one. Oh my God, <laughs> I can't get myself to pull it. Okay, let me turn on the light for you guys, hold on. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, lighting, how about that? All right, let's do this, guys. Enough playing around. All right, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, that hurt. That hurt quite a lot. Okay. It did pull out a lot of hair. I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on, let me do it this way. There is a lot of hair there. I know that's really gross. There's a lot of dead skin too. Dry skin. Holy cow, I need to moisturize. Okay. Uh, yeah. So a lot of hair. A lot of dry skin. Um, my skin's not red or irritated, but it did leave some hairs behind. Which is not cool because that means I'm going to have to go over it again. And it did leave a couple of thin layers, which I don't care for. Ow. Okay. Alright. So, whew. Let's try it again. I'm going to try it 
in this area right here and see if I can get better results second time around okay so from the videos that I saw on Facebook it made it look like you could spread it out in bigger areas before it started to harden and I don't find that to be the case oh nothing happened to my toes baby my toes are just a mess honey okay so I'm gonna try to get a nice even layer yeah you guys can hear Kylie talking okay uh -huh. okay so oh let's pat that down for what you're okay three two one ow ow okay it is less painful than strip wax it did get once again a lot of hair yes it hurts baby it hurts but I'm okay okay but I mean I'm gonna give you guys a close up not that you need it but um, if you look closely it's leaving quite a few hairs behind I'm not getting a clean bye, 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 bye sweetie I'm not getting a clean smooth area if you guys can see that I'm sure you can um, and for the amount of pain that I am suffering I expect to see no hair left behind so um, I'm gonna try one more time I don't know if it's just because of the way I'm pulling it I'm gonna try to pull more straight up versus out to see if that helps with the hair removal uh, yeah so let's try that and see how it goes okay one more time oh my god I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now guys that'll teach me to buy things off of YouTube I mean on Facebook not YouTube okay so I got the wax let's try this area right here okay so I got a nice big area right there let's try a different ripping method ow 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 that always hurts oh my god okay so let's try this now three two one Three, two, one. Oh my god. Guys, why is this so hard to pull? Okay. Three, two, one. That hurts so bad, guys. Oh my god. Okay, so I did pull a lot more up than I did. I mean, up, up towards me, not up this way. I did get a, a lot of hair out. But once again, it left hair behind right in here. So, overall, not impressed with this product, guys. Um, it does uh, cause some irritation. As you can see, my leg's starting to turn red right here where I waxed earlier. And it is not removing all of the hair. If you guys can see that right there. This is the area I just did right there and it's got hair right here that should have come up but didn't No, my mom, okay.
can see all the hair I left behind. Definitely not worth it. Not worth it. All right, trying down by the ankle, seeing if the results are any better than this so far. I'm very disappointed in what I've seen. I'm still trying it because I melted it, so I figure I might as well use it. Not really excited about the results. But it will cut down on my shaving time, so I figure I might as well use it. Okay. It is less painful, but it is because it is ripping out less hair. And you guys just saw the big patch area that I did, and look. I left us so much hair behind. So much hair. Okay, did you guys see that? Yeah. That's really, really disappointing. Really disappointing. So. I'm going to try again. I want to get one good clean area. I want to know that it's not removing the hair because of user error, not because of product inefficiency. Let me try somewhere I haven't gone yet. Alright, let's do the back of my ankle here. I'm trying to get a nice even but thin layer. The last layer I did was a little thicker. But let's see if we can get. Okay. All right, so that's about as thin as I can get it before it starts to um, get thick and, and like stick to itself. So let's go ahead and try that. Oh my gosh, my toes need to be done so bad. I apologize, guys. I didn't think about that before I started recording this. All right, so let's try this and see. Let me just let it sit for another minute. Maybe I'm not letting it sit long enough. I don't think that's the problem though, because the first one I let it sit a long time and it still left hair behind, so. Okay. Two, three. Oh! Okay. Yeah, it's not removing anything, guys. It's like barely removing hair and then leaving a lot of hair behind. So. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I don't know that this product is worth it. I would definitely say I do not recommend. Um, it is kind of fun to do this on yourself, but if you're not seeing the results that are promised, then it is definitely not worth buying. So for this product, I'm gonna have to say thumbs down. Overall, the cleanup is pretty easy. You just throw this away and you're done. Um, however, the results are not great. The skin underneath um, does feel a little irritated. Um, it looks a little red and um, it, it feels smooth, but it doesn't because there are little hairs that are left behind. So, um, yep, I think I'm just going to go shave because I'm not going to waste my time waxing my leg and then have to shave afterwards anyway because of all the little hairs left behind. So. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I never thought in my life that I would ever show my hairy legs on YouTube or that I would be waxing my legs on YouTube. Um, however, uh, thank you so much for watching. And also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I like to try out products on my channel once in a while. I do family vlogs once in a while. And I do makeup videos once in a while. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.